Hey guys, it's football news here. How are you all doing? Welcome to another video on our channel. Let's start the week off on the right foot by staying up to date with the latest football news. First up, let's talk about Manchester United. Yesterday, the English team's title drought came to an end as they lifted the trophy. After almost six years. With Wembley Stadium packed, they defeated Newcastle 2-0 in the final of the English League Cup. Casemiro, who you may already know, has won 16 out of 17 finals he's played in, and he opened the scoring with a header at the 33-minute mark. Marcus Rashford then extended their lead in the first half. This is Manchester's first title since the 2016-2017 season when they won the Europa League under the guidance of Jose Mourinho. Manchester seems to be really picking up momentum. Manager Eric Ten Hag has been able to implement his philosophy, and the team is playing. Well. Marcus Rashford is incredible on the field, and Casemiro is undoubtedly one of the best signings in the club's history. He's playing phenomenally and is the king of the United midfield. Let's not forget that they're still fighting for the Premier League and the Europa League. Titles. Do you think Manchester will win another trophy this season? Will the coach dance with Anthony again? Let us know in the comments. In this video, I'll be telling you a lot of interesting things. Yesterday, in La Liga, Barcelona visited Almeria and lost 1-0. As a result, the Catalan team missed the opportunity to widen the gap between them and Real Madrid, with 15 rounds left in the Spanish championship. Barcelona leads with 59 points, 7 ahead of Real. This was the first time in history that Almeria managed to beat Barcelona in La Liga. In the French championship, we had the classic match between Paris Saint-Germain and Olympique de Marseille, where the Parisian team won 3-0, with two goals from Bap and one from Messi. PSG now has an eight-point lead over second-placed Marseille. With his two goals yesterday, Mbappe reached 200 goals and tied with Cavani as the club's top scorer. Messi reached an incredible milestone of 700 club goals in his career, 28 of which were for Paris Saint-Germain and 672 for Barcelona. In the Premier League, Chelsea has been playing very poorly and lost to Tottenham 2-0. With this result, the Blues remain in 10th place with only 31 points, while Tottenham is in 4th place. A spot in the next Champions League is becoming increasingly distant as Chelsea is now 14 points behind Tottenham, who are the last team in the qualifying zone. My friends, Chelsea can't seem to play well, despite spending a lot of money on new signings. The coach is really not doing a good job. Do you think Chelsea should be patient with coach Graham Potter and keep him on the team? Or should they bring in a stronger name to lead the team? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest football news.